I'll show you how to do this, son. The white shirt edition. There's nothing worse than rocking a white shirt that looked like you just rolled out of bed and it should look like your sheets or something like that all wrinkled or whatnot. So right here we have a basic white shirt, 100% cotton. Um, my preference is always French cuffs. Um, before you rock your white shirt, always make sure that it's very well pressed. Even if you don't like the iron and you invest in one good white shirt, let me take a step back. And invest in a good white shirt. A white shirt that has like metal collar stays. You know what I'm saying? That keeps your your collar, your collar, excuse me, standing up straight when you rock it. Um, you want to make sure that it's a, a decent thread count. You know, if you want to get a higher end shirt, or well, actually, yeah, a higher end shirt, you can do like a 170 or 200 thread count real good. Um, and honestly, like you could do so many different things with this white shirt. You can rock this on the block. You can rock this on to the office. You can rock this at the after hours spot. You can rock it to the club. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do a couple of variations real quick. Basic, just a little insight for you. White shirts pretty much dominate white shirt sales or 40% of the dress shirt market for those of you who didn't know. So you got the basic. You go into the office, you know, slacks, shirt. You know, basic blue, whatever, whatever. You know, and make sure that your shirt has creases in it. You know, you want to have this. Make sure you have a crease going down the sleeve. And that should go all the way up to your collar. Following all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Now, basic as always, white shirt with slash, throw the tie on. That's all good. But you want to switch it up. In your wardrobe, you should have a pair of khakis. For that Friday, look you in the office. Put your khakis on with it. You could... Tuck it in, leave it out, whichever you prefer. If you want to leave your white shirt out, make sure that you get a shirt that's semi a slim fit. Because you don't want your shit like blowing like a dress all around the sides and all that. So you want to get a slim fit so it's sit close to your body. You want to switch it up again. Rock it with the, the nice denims. You know, some people beef about dudes that wear their dress shirts tucked inside your jeans or outside. It's casual, whatever make you feel fresh, that's what it is, you know, there's no written rules about what you can and what you can't do, you know, um, what else could I say, you could even take this white shirt, you know, to switch it up, you know, leave it, unbutton a few buttons, you can roll up the sleeve a little bit, give it your own little style, me, I like cufflinks, so my different shirts to make it rock and, and match the pants, rock different cufflinks with it, and um, we're on our grown man shit. That being said, let's go into a video. Flat out.